Come on! So last year I did two videos on FIFA with FIFA 19, a simulation with Yugoslavia to see how they would do in a Champions League tournament, and a World Cup tournament. Now I'm doing the same thing except in the Euros. There's a couple problems with this simulation though, but I feel like we can work around it. Well, obviously Yugoslavia isn't in the game. I put them in a Dinamo Zagreb squad, and not only that, FIFA is only letting me do a custom tournament with 32 teams. I can't do 24, it's either 32 or 16. So I decided to do 32 and I put in some extra teams so we could get everybody. I'll walk you through the group so you see what I'm talking about. And not to mention, I did have to make some extra custom teams because FIFA doesn't have all the licensing for international teams like Pez does. But I gotta say, I enjoy the FIFA simulations more because they're genuine simulations. Pez. You're controlling the team still technically, you gotta watch through all the matches. FIFA's is just a bit more organized in that sense, however their customization game is weak. So let's look at each group one more time because obviously there's gonna be some changes and I had to do some switching around because not every nationality is in the game. So group A we've got Italy, Turkey, Switzerland and Wales, nothing has changed there. Group B we have Finland, Russia, Denmark and Belgium, again no changes. Group C, Austria, Hungary, Netherlands. And Shakhtar is Ukraine. I customized it to make sure all the Ukrainian players are there instead of the Brazilians. Hungary didn't qualify for the Euros, but yeah, that's our filler team. And then Group D, Yugoslavia, Dinamo Zagreb, England, Czech Republic, and Norway. This is the group Croatia and supposedly Serbia is supposed to be in, so I put Dinamo Zagreb in this group. Group E, we have Poland, Bulgaria, Spain, and Sweden. Bulgaria being the filler team, but obviously this group is going to exist. Group F, France, Portugal, Germany, Iceland. Now group G and H is where it gets interesting because it's supposed to end at group F. We had to add these two extra groups, so I put in Ireland, Crawley Town, which is supposed to be Georgia, Claremont Foot, which is supposed to be Slovakia, and then Scotland. So we just got some extra European teams, basically. I put the players in each team, so it's not actually Crawley Town and Claremont Foot, it's Slovakia and Georgia. The players that were in FIFA, obviously. And then Greece, Northern Ireland, Romania, and Cork City. Cork City is supposed to be Belarus. So there you go. Obviously these two groups aren't existing, but FIFA's forcing us to put them in. We're gonna do it anyway, why not? Let's see which of these teams can come out on top. Now in the moment most of you are waiting for, we're looking at the squad now. There's a lot of changes compared to the squad I used in FIFA 19 for the World Cup. So let's walk through this. We've got wingers, midfielder, one striker, and four in the back for defense. At goal, we've got Oblak, that's a no-brainer. Best keeper in the world. Then at center backs, we've got Savic and Nastasic. Arguably, you could put in Lovren here or someone else, but overall, we don't have many options. Then we've got Versaliko and Kolarov at fullback. Pjanic, Milenkovic, Savic, and Modric all at center mid. We've got Croatia, Bosnia, and Serbia all in the central midfield. Pretty cool. Then on the left we got Perisic, and then on the right we got Vizca. Vizca has been incredible this season. And in my Balkan Top 10 videos, a lot of you told me that I left him out. And you're right, I think I did. He's a beast. And then for striker, there's a lot of options you could do. We put in Dzeko because he's still got some years in him, and he's still been brilliant for Roma. Looking at the bench now, we got Jovic, Rakitic, Kovacic, Lovren, Kostic. All right, I'm gonna play Handanovic here, but yeah. In the reserves, Handanovic, Rebic, Tadic, Kalinic, Mitrovic, Matic, Rashica, and Brozovic. Obviously, you can put so many players here. That's the beauty of thinking if Yugoslavia was still a country, we would have so many options, at least in the midfield and attack. I don't know about defense though. We gotta step up our defensive game for sure. As you all know, it would have been sick if this country still existed because we definitely would have won an international tournament by now. I mean, if Croatia made it to the World Cup final, there's no doubt. I mean, if you fill in a better keeper and some better defense, I think it would have been possible, so yeah. Yugoslavia looking sick as always, with some adjustments, they're still looking nice. And a lot of players actually did get downgraded just a little bit, but that's okay, they're still looking like a solid side. Let's play our first match against Czech Republic, actually, sorry, sim the first match. We're not actually playing anything, by the way. It's not a playthrough, just a simulation. So, without any further ado, I'm pressing A. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna look bit by, oh, it just skipped for me, okay. I thought we were gonna get minute by minute gameplay, but we've won two nil. Kolarov and Milenkovic Savage get on the score sheet. Not bad from Yugoslavia. Decent job. I'm not gonna bother looking at all the other matches, but yeah, well let's let's just keep moving forward. Now we're coming up against Norway. Uh oh, there's an unavailable player with your starting eleven. Ooh, Nastasic got it red. I didn't even see that. Okay, 
We'll put in Lovren for that. Oh, and Perisic is injured. Jesus, what the hell? Not good, Yugoslavia. Kostic get in. Tadic. Evoga. Super. Let's go. See who is coming up on top. Advance. Oh, we draw with Norway and Lovren gets a red card. Dzeko gets on the score sheet. Not a good result, Yugoslavia. I'm hoping we at least make it to the semi-final or final with this side. Well, that's not looking good because we definitely have to do something good in this match against England. Otherwise, we're screwed. All right, so now Lovren and Nastasic both got red cards, which is crazy. So I had to do some adjustments. We put Kostic at left back, Rashica at left mid, and we put Kolarov at center back. I don't have any other center backs, so I don't really know what to do. I wasn't expecting two red cards. All right, let's 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 keep moving. Now we're playing England. This is the biggest match yet. We're both fighting for first place, and potentially we could move down if Czech Republic or Norway get a win, so God do well. Please, Yugoslavia, please. Let's go! Kolarov is the hero. 1-0. Looks like the whole team is pulling their weight through, actually. Defensive, midfield, and the strikers are all scoring. Now we play France. Jesus, really? In the round of 16, you're giving us France? Looking at the rest of the groups, Italy topped their group, Switzerland second. By the way, all the third place teams are going out, so Turkey and Wales are out. Group B, Belgium and Denmark make it through. Finland, Russia out. Group C, Netherlands and Austria make it. Ukraine get last. Group D, we make it first. England second. Norway third. Czech Republic fourth. Group E, Spain first. Poland second. Sweden third. Bulgaria fourth. Group F, Germany first, France second, Portugal third, Iceland fourth. Bye bye, Ronaldo. Group F, G, Scotland first, Ireland second, Georgia third, and Slovakia fourth. Group F, Romania first, Greece second, Northern Ireland third, and Belarus last. Which means all these teams we had to put Matt, like players on besides us, obviously, Yugoslavia, Slovakia, Georgia, and Belarus all out. Looking at all the round of 16 matches, we've got Italy versus Poland, Germany versus Denmark, Scotland versus Greece, Belgium versus Ireland, Yugoslavia versus France, Romania versus England, Netherlands versus Switzerland, and Spain versus Austria. No more red cards for these guys, so I'm putting Nastasic back in. I'm a Yugoslavia. Get this win. We need to pass the round of 16. It's got to be a somewhat successful video. Come on. Yes, let's go! Dzeko and Vizca get on the score sheet. The two Bosnians, we get over this obstacle. France is undoubtedly one of the best teams in the world right now. This is massive. So Italy beat Poland, Germany beat Denmark, Greece beat Scotland, Belgium beat Ireland, we beat France, England beat Romania, Netherlands beat Switzerland, and Spain spanked Austria. Quarterfinal matches are Italy versus Germany, Greece versus Belgium, Yugoslavia versus England, Netherlands versus Spain. Hopefully England don't try to claim their revenge on us. Hopefully we just beat them again. Oh, Milenkovic Savage with the brace. Sterling gets his goal, but not enough. Trippier gets a red card as well. Yugoslavia cruising through this tournament at this point. They only struggled really against Norway. Even with this Perisic injury, Rashica is still filling in pretty well, despite him not even scoring. Who knows, maybe he got an assist or two. The rest of the quarterfinal matches, Germany beat Italy, Belgium beat Greece, and Spain beat Netherlands. So the semifinals include Germany versus Belgium and Yugoslavia versus Spain. All the teams with good stuff written on paper are making it through. What would have happened if Yugoslavia made it in Euro 2021? Can they make it past Spain's insane side? Holy shit, Vista and Modric make it count. Ramos got injured at the 14th minute, which was definitely a massive blow for Spain because that obviously allowed some goals to come through. We had to even go through extra time, clearly. Vizca scores in the 105th minute. I'm glad I put Vizca on the starting 11. He's clearly making a difference. I was hoping to get to the semis at least. We did, and now we're at the final against Belgium. Yeah, they managed to beat Germany 2-1. Let's finish this off. Hopefully, Yugoslavia just wraps this up. Oh, my days. What is the score? What is the score? Oh, my God! Milankovic Savage finishes the tournament with four goals and Rashica scores as well later on the match. Belgium failed to score. Yugoslavia do wonderful in this tournament. For some reason, the only team they were not able to beat was Norway. Obviously, this is just a video game, but it just shows this squad would have been sick. I'll obviously take this simulation. I hope you guys did enjoy to see how Yugoslavia would do in Euro 2020 or 2021. Super unfortunate that we can't get this tournament this summer, which is why I'm constantly putting out content for it. Please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you are new. But yeah, toi to and I'll see you all later. Lako noć drugovi.